Hello! Welcome! What's up? Can I help you? Can I help you? No. What? Can I help you? Yeah, I was going to. Yeah. Go grab one, that's fine. I should probably figure out what I'm doing here. Uh-oh. Well, you're on camera, so... Don't know what to tell you. You're part of this now. Uh... I want to say... That... Indeedy... And... This might actually be a good... Time. Uh, there's a Sylveon. I think Armorous is probably good. I don't think... Torkoal's probably not that great here. I kind of want to say it's this. This is a weird team, Mark. Uh, yeah, so... I do... I, well, welcome back to Ladder Up. I, I, that was a weird way to start the episode. It's like as soon as I started recording, my wife needed to ask me about a few things I gotta get done before I leave. And I f completely forgot to do an intro or anything. So here we are. Having a good time. Sorry, hun. You're in the video now. Sylveon and Star Raptor. Um, so is that Final Gambit? Um, Choice Scarf is definitely Oh, I forgot to use an ability patch on Indeedee. That's why there's no Psychic Terrain. I always do this. It's so hard to get the the, the, the Ndidi with the right Terra type, and I always forget that I have to use an ability patch afterwards. Um, let's see. I just get so caught up. Uh, I want to say follow me. Well, that's very important, because my team sheet says uh, Psychic Surge, and also the team needs Psychic. That's, that's why that... Um, that's why that Expanding Force in the last game did nothing to the Dondozo. That's why. All right, well, that's good to know. Okay, I was expecting Final Gambit, so I'm fine with that. That's That's got to be reckless. That did so much damage, and that is Choice Scarf. That is Choice Scarf. So a nice little... Okay, that did less than I, I hoped. Problem is that now... There's the Throat Spray. I can Heavy Slam the Sylveon. I'd like to knock out the... Um, the Staraptor. Question is, are they going to switch it out? Are they just going to attack? Hey, I mean, you're, you're going to attack, right? So I could Heavy Slam... I kind of want to Heavy Slam Protect. Is that too passive? Is Staraptor just going to switch out? Because if it's just going to Brave Bird, I don't want to let it just Brave Bird Flutter Main. So I mean, I'm just going to... I'm gonna. This feels right, so I'm going to do it. I'm not going to overthink it. This feels right. They're not switching out. This feels right, so I'm going to do it. Okay. So we're going to knock out the Sylveon, which is nice. Big ol' heavy slam. That's nice. Look at that. Beautiful. Heaviest of slams. And Stone Journer is very, very thick. So you know that you know that do be doing. All all that it be doing. Uh Scizor, okay. Um Rock type. So I if I take out Am I really about to risk missing a Stone Edge? <sighs> I don't think a Rock Side's going to knock it out. So I think I have to. And a Mystical Fire. Pretty cool. Brave Bird's going to knock... Yeah, that's, that's tough. That thing is so strong. The, uh... God, that's, that's a lot of damage. Stone Edge hits, thankfully. Thankfully. So now what's the Scizor going for? Swords Dance. Um, uh, <laughs> that's not bueno. Uh, that's no bueno. Okay, so... We're definitely going to be faster than a Scizor. Unless it's really speedy. What's the last Pokemon? So, 
Armor Cannon here is pretty good. You know what's really great for that? Body Press. The problem here is that I cannot... I think I need to Terrestrialize Grass. I cannot... to For Bullet Punch. I can't Protect. But I don't think I have much of a choice. I think I just have to go for it. Scizor probably protects, right? If it terrestrializes, fine. I can hit it with something else. But you're not going to terrestrialize your Tyranitar. Because you're not worried about this. You're not worried about this. Why would you be worried about this? Is that the Scizor? In which case, would an expanding force have been better? It is water. That's a good terror type for that. It's a good terror type for that. Probably should have expected that. Probably should have expected that. That's kind of obvious. Oh, it's faster. Oh. Critical hit. We get, we get a lot of those these days. Well, this will do something. That's still good damage. My god, armor is just strong. So, if, if, um, yeah, if, uh, Body press, you can just knock that thing out. Ooh, that's close. Ooh, okay. So the Tyranitar outspeeds. It must be jolly. We're all taking Sandstorm right now. But I think we lose because the, the Scizor definitely has Bullet Punch, right? And I, and I don't have Protect, so... Definitely has Bullet Punch. I'm just going to wide guard because I don't have any other option, really. Like, might as well. Uh, yeah, that sucks, man. But still, I, I'm impressed at the amount of damage that that uh, Armor Cannon did. That Staraptor, Choice Scarf Staraptor, was... How would I... Okay, so, how, so let's pretend this is best of three. How would I deal with that in the future? I would make sure to have a Psychic Terrain... Psychic Terrain... Indeedy. Psychic Surge. And then I would... There we go. Nice, nice, nice end wide guard. Um, I guess probably just set up Trick Room instead. Ooh, we almost won. Almost won. Because Tyranitar is going to knock out our, um, our Stone Journer. But hey, that was close. That was pretty close for a battle. We probably had no bus business winning. I guess what would you even go for? I don't know. Not rock slide, because I can miss. And you and we know you at speed. Crunch. Yeah, okay, good game. Good game, good game. Alright, well let's just pretend that my Indeedy has psychic surge. I I could I could actually just go for a trick room and a like a moonblast into Sylveon, but I didn't bring Torkoal. Uh, that, yeah, that relied around Torkoal, and Torkoal was not the play there. Stone Journer definitely did its job job there. Oh boy, losing points. Not a fan. Okay, would there be any reason to just not go in DD Armor Rouge? Yeah. Uh, the Tyranitar, but I could I could terrestrialize Grass, the Armorouge, and that's not bad. Ninjo, I think part of me wants to go in DD Fluttermane, but I don't want to do that because I don't have don't have Psychic Surge. So I think that, I mean, follow me is still good. But Stone Journer is really good against one, two, three, four of them. Yeah, do I just do that? I, I, I really, indeed he really needs to be Psychic Surge. It's really bad that it's actually not. It's really bad that it's actually not. Oh yeah, yeah. I gotta. I, I I I do have, I have a couple of ability patches, so that's not an issue. I just I don't want to like stop the episode just to do it, but maybe I should have. 
Maybe that would have been smarter -er -er to do. Because I... Oh, Psyduck, you're just out of frame. See, may maybe that would have been smarter -er to do, because I am a smart boy. I am big, big brain boy. Arcanine Roaring Moon. Okay. Is it... Safety goggles. Because here's the thing. So they expected this, for sure. Now, my Lilligant can take the acrobatics that you often see from these Roaring Moons. The question becomes... I, I want to say this is the play. They could snarl. If they, I'm just going to be super obvious. If they snarl, okay. They're going to take a good amount of damage either way. Now, if they go for a... What's it called? A Flare Blitz into Lilligant. That's bad. Arcanine's been popping up in, in, in usage pretty recently. That's actually really bad for this team. <laughs> But this is... I, I built this already. I, I can't go and get new Pokemon. I can't build a new team. I don't have time for that. So this is what we're playing. But yeah, Safety Goggles Arcanine is really bad for this team. But still, that did a lot. Tailwind. That's bad. Snarl. Okay. Alright. Okay. Not, not, not the worst. Here's the thing. They're going to target Torkoal, right? You're going to target Torkoal, right? I almost want to double switch, but Lilligan going down actually wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I actually think, weirdly enough, I kind of want to just Leaf Storm the Arcanine. I think a Power Spot boosted Leaf Storm would take it out. I a Actually, no, the Roaring Moon, because then I Armourouge can set up um, Trick Room. Although, then again, Snarl's kind of a problem. And I am minus one special attack. Okay, so they are going for the Flare Blitz. In which case, my original plan would have been better. -er. But that would require a smarter -er person. Another Snarl. Okay. Alright. It's something. Uh, I think here we're fine just to go for a uh, Rock Slide and a... Like... You're going to attack, right? You set up Tailwind, so... You know that you're faster, right? Do I just let Lilligant go down? I kind of think so. I want to Roaring... I want to sleep out of the Roaring Moon. There's the Acrobatics, yeah. See, it told you that... Oh, it actually didn't knock us out. So this... If it doesn't knock out Roaring Moon, if the Rock Slide doesn't knock out Roaring Moon, it would actually be better. That's really bad. I didn't even expect that. I should I should have thought of that. But that's, yeah. If this could knock out the Arcanine, that'd be great. It's, def it's definitely safety goggles. For sure. Doesn't knock out the Arcanine. Hmm. Part of me wants to... What would come in for the Arcanine? What would come in for the Arcanine? What other Pokemon were there? I feel like I just want to body press because that's not going to be a... F Is that affected by burn? I should really know that. I should really know that, actually. Because it, it does... It calculates the damage based off of your defense stat. But does the burn have the physical damage it does? I don't actually know. I don't actually know. This one is going to be a short episode because I just I need I, I do need to get stuff done. I, 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 Kate, Katie's right. I do need to get some some stuff done. Iron hands. Okay. Okay. So this is fine. Kind of problematic because iron hands is kind of bad. There you go. There's the flash fire. It's just trying to do it at the right time. Okay. So iron hands is bad because it can fake out and my. Stone Journey doesn't really do anything to it. That burn really paying dividends. But then again, can it knock out my... 
Armor Rouge? I don't think so. And I think an Expanding Force, even without Psychic Terrain, Life Orb? Unless it's Assault Vest. If it's Assault Vest, it probably survives. But it's really strong. So... It's still a strong move. They can't send in Roaring Moon, really. I mean, they could, but it's asleep. Amoongus. There we go. So we're not going to set up Trick Room, even though I want to. Even though I want to. Um... What does more? I already terrestrialized, right? Weirdly enough, I think this is the better play. I'm gonna double into Iron Hands. If Moongus Rage Powders, then fine. A Rock Slide, a, a, a double Life Orb boosted Expanding Force should knock out either of those Pokemon. So, if the Amoongus protects, fine. If it Rage Powders, fine. Iron Hands, I know is... Probably can't protect. They usually don't. With Into the Roaring Moon? Alright, well, you're just wasting time, then. So this should just knock out both Pokemon. If that if this lands, then we just we just win, right? I forgot about Fake Out. <laughs> That's stupid. That's fine. That's totally fine. Let's get Rock Slide. Knocks out the Roaring Moon, so that's good. So why didn't the Amoongus just spore me? That's kind of... It's kind of weird. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to do the same play again. Do the same play. Because if the... Oh, that was a weird camera thing. Okay. Right? Yeah. Because if the... Moongus Rage Powders, it just gets knocked out. If Iron Hands then knocks out Armor Rouge, that's fine. I'll have Torkoal should be able to finish it up, I want to say. Torkoal is pretty physically defensive. We didn't take any damage, so we should be able to take whatever the Iron Hands does. Okay, it's, it's Terra Water. Totally fine. Totally fine. I was, I was trying to figure out what the Iron Hands was going to uh, terrestrialize into. But this should just knock it out, I think. Oh, it, their EVs are really good. Oh, but we land! Yahoo! Yeah, so that survived. That has to be a Solvest. That survived an Expanding Force. I know it's not Psychic Terrain, but it survived an Expanding Force through Life Orb and Power Spot. Come on, Stone Turner. Oh, it did Amoongus flinch? That's incredible. That's incredible. Uh, yeah, well, in that case, um, body press is now. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna win now. <laughs> All right, cool. So that's it for this episode. I, I do have stuff to do. I'm, I'm gonna record. I think one more, and then I will just for the, you know, for the like. So we will have a. a... Yesterday's would have gone up on Saturday. Today is Sunday. And then the next one will be Monday. Yeah, there we go. So you see the idea of the team. It's a lot of fun. I really like it. And anyways, if you like this kind of content, you know, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I hope to see you next time for another episode of Ladder Up. Ciao.